My name is Louise O'Hanlon and I'm the Programme Manager for the Centre for Advanced Training for South Asian and Contemporary Dance. Uh, we're based here in Dance Exchange, which is in Birmingham, and we are part of the Department for Education's Music and Dance Scheme. That means that we're part of a network of training establishments up and down the country, which deliver really high quality training to exceptionally talented young people. Our Centre for Advanced Training is quite different from the others that run up and down the country. We have two strands of training based here. We have one which is a regional strand and that covers the whole of the West Midlands and that's for our contemporary students. We meet here on a Sunday, uh, we start around about 10.30 in the morning, finish around about 5 and the day has a mixture of workshops that take place and it's a fantastic opportunity for young people to work with some fabulous dance artists. But then alongside that we have another strand which is our national strand and that's delivered in partnership with SAMPAD, South Asian Arts Organisation, who are also based here in Birmingham. The Dance Exchange SAMPAD partnership works really well. Um, Dance Exchange brings its contemporary knowledge and expertise to the programme. We um, produce and present a wide range of contemporary work, uh, for example here in this theatre, uh, but also you know, lots of companies use our studios and the CAP programme really benefits from, those, uh, that, from that knowledge. Um, we also are the admin base for the Centre for Advanced Training, so we employ all of the team and contract all the guest artists as well. The SAMPAD brings the South Asian arts practice and experience to the programme. We have enormous range of artists working with us as well and from UK and the subcontinent. So we are able to access the best quality tutors to the programme and I think the partnership is very complementary. We support each other in all kinds of other ways. We work together in a whole range of other programmes including the International Dance Festival programming and I think the CAT program is unique in that way. That national strand takes students from up and down the country. So you could be based in Manchester, London, Swindon, but actually your training course is delivered here in Birmingham. Now we don't want to disrupt people going to their normal school, so we meet during school holidays. So the October half term, February half term, and, and like that throughout the year. And it means that students from all over the country arrive here in Birmingham with their suitcase packed with everything that they need and they stay with us for between two and maybe three days each time they come and visit us. They have a fabulous time working with some internationally renowned artists here in our studios and we also provide all of the accommodation that they need whilst they're with us. So they're kind of like our extended family that come and train with us. Being in dance exchanges or together a really good feeling knowing that you're in a, a really good environment dedicated just for dancing. Joining the CAT is a wonderful experience because you get to meet so many different people, train with so many different types of teachers from all sorts of different backgrounds. So that means that we are delivering two very distinct styles of training but both of them delivered at exceptionally high quality. We are very lucky to have Rosie Kay as our subject leader for the contemporary strand of our training. I support the audition process, so I help kind of choose the students that get a place on CAT and make sure that we kind of keep a really high standard of teaching practice here. I book the guest artists that come in, so I choose which choreographers the dancers are going to work with. And I also work directly one-to-one -one with the students. I do individual training programs with each student that comes here. So I assess them, I look at what they need to work on, and together with the student, we come up with a program for the whole year together with key targets and goals. I also teach, and that can be technique, or I prefer more doing choreographic practice with the students. My favourite thing is working with all the different choreographers that come yeah. in in like the afternoon sessions. I think mine would have to be the same as well because you get a taste of so many different things and like meet so many different people that you'd never meet before. I wouldn't have met them if we hadn't come here and then we have the option to like work with so many amazing people. My favourite aspect of the cat would probably be um, the choreographic opportunities and the creative side of it but I also like learning the repertoire and improving my technique. I really, I actually enjoy all of it. We are really lucky at the Centre for Advanced Training. I've got a fantastic team. We have two teaching assistants who really help one-to-one -one with the students in every class and are really supportive. We also have a fantastic 
fantastic team of technique teachers. So we've got ballet teachers, some of which are coming from Birmingham Royal Ballet and are professional ballet dancers themselves. And we have a great team of real working professional contemporary dance tutors. In the afternoons, we have a range of performance enhancement tutors. So that can be Pilates teachers, yoga teachers, and fitness experts. But we also work with a wide range of international and UK-based choreographers and artists that create work with the students. A typical day at the Centre for Advanced Training would involve the students getting here for about 10 to 10.30 to do a group warm-up with one of the assistants. Then they'll go into their first class of the day. The mornings are technique classes, so they'll do ballet technique and contemporary technique. In the afternoon, we're a lot more flexible. It could involve a choreographic workshop, either led by me or a guest artist, where they're really learning about the choreographic process, making their own work, or working on a large-scale commission with a choreographer. We'll also maybe have performance enhancement tutors in that will be doing some Pilates, but we make sure the afternoons are very creative. When performing on the cat, it feels like you're really in a safe environment to show yourself without being embarrassed. It's just great to watch other people as well that you perform with and it's really exciting. When you are performing you feel like, wow, we're like performing in front of other people. Yeah, and we're performing in front of that. It's yeah, so cool. And with the lights and everything and because yeah. we all know we've worked on it for such a long time that that's like the reward the, to yeah, go out and on the stage. If somebody asked me about CAT and they wanted to join I'd probably say definitely go for it. Um, you notice huge improvements with your technique and dancing and it's great fun really as well um, meeting new people and working with different professionals. The Centre for Advanced Training has really helped me for my future. It's given me an amazing grounding in contemporary and ballet technique. I've learnt choreographic skills and these are all really helpful for me to get into dance schools. What I love about the Centre for Advanced Training is I feel that we're investing in the next generation of professional dancers. Our South Asian strand of training has subject leaders as well. We have Sujata Banerjee, who is our Kathak subject leader, and we have Anusha Subramanyam, who is our Bharatanatyam subject leader. And between them, they both plan for their intensives. All of the students will come here and be working in our studios, but they will all have a very distinct style of delivery, which obviously suits the very classical nature of their style of dance. The intensives will cover things like body conditioning work, there will be repertoire work, there will be choreographic work, and people will be exploring what a wonderful, rich heritage South Asian classical dance is. The Centre for Advanced Training scheme is very important because it's a professional standard training uh, for young people from the ages of 11 and 16 and it's an open training scheme so when people join us from the ages of 11 and 16 the training goes on till they are 18 and this is very special because it's funded by the music and dance scheme and the dance exchange is in partnership with Sampath, the South Asian dance organization based in Birmingham. For South Asian dance this is a national scheme so after the audition we offer places to the young people who has gone through the um, auditioning process and then they come during the holidays half term or Easter or summer they come and stay here they learn in the dance exchange at the dance studios here and they work with various teachers we invite guest tutors and international tutors they get uh, performance opportunities they get a real understanding of the professional world. A typical cat day um, starts around 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning where we have either a yoga or pilates or body conditioning workshop um, in which we can all warm up for the rest of the day. Then throughout the day we have two to three sessions with either our subject leader, a guest tutor or a teacher of a different style.
we meet new dancers, nearly every intensive. I like the intensives themselves when we get to like have training and then after we have um, time to go over things ourselves and with our friends. I think it's great because um, the teacher pays attention to you and there's assistants who can help as well when they're concentrating on one person. So you, you get a lot of attention and it's fun because it's not always dance, you get to experience this other things as well. Maybe culture made me start dancing because I knew it was related to my God, my religion. So it made me want to develop a bigger understanding of what it really was and then my passion just grew for it more and more. It's really, really fun performing because it's just like everyone just gets together and contributes their best to make like a really spectacular performance. They love to dance and it comes across whether they are in a summer school or whether they are on stage performing and the confidence and the excellence and the precision of their performance is absolutely rewarding for us to watch. If a young person would like to join a Centre for Advanced Training, there's usually an auditions process that they would have to go through. We tend to audition around about May and June each year to take in students in September. And for the regional strand, we do our auditions here in the studios at Dance Exchange. For our national strand, we tend to go out and do a number of road shows with auditions attached to them. Now we know that the auditions process can be quite nerve-wracking for young people and we've tried to design a process which is accessible, which means someone doesn't have to arrive with years worth of training behind them. What they do have to do though is show the auditions panel that they have a spark of potential, that they're really passionate about what they do and they really have a strong desire to want to engage in training. Once this process is all over and the students are enrolled in the Centre for Advanced Training, that's when the fun really starts. That's when students come to us for the induction day in September. They get to meet all of the wonderful people that they're going to be training with. Not just the teachers, the tutors and the teaching assistants, but actually all of their fellow students. And it's such a wonderful opportunity to mingle with both strands of training all here on the same day. And it's so vibrant to see all of these young people who have that single passion of wanting to learn to dance. We really hope that we're going to be able to produce the next generation of dancers and, and professionals working in the world of dance and we also really hope that all of the young people that work with us on the Centre for Advanced Training develop a passion for dance that sticks with them throughout their lifetime.